Tonight, I'm in downtown Fremont at an awesome bar called Commonwealth. Commonwealth is known for its eclectic vibe, amazing music, awesome artwork. But like any good the gentleman, it's all about who you know. Luckily for me, when I came down here to Fremont, I texted a friend. Turns out, I texted the right person. This looks like a wall. Well, maybe it'll open up. Oh, it did. Hey, hey Pete, you ready for your reservation? Oh, I am ready for my reservation. All this right. looks good. Let's go. So Anthony, I came in through Commonwealth. Now I'm in the laundry room. Tell me about this place. Well, as far as the laundry room, it's intended to be our little sneak away, hideaway spot. It's really in tune with the idea of what a speakeasy is. You're not really supposed to be here. The volumes are low, there's no cameras, no nothing going on back here, no dancing, no nightclub stuff. It's a place where you have a chance to sit down and really enjoy a good, solid, classic cocktail. Tell me a little bit about some of the drinks that we can get. I mean, can you show me something? Oh, or? yeah, I can definitely do that. Um, one of the more popular ones that we do have here is something called the Old Poppy. So as far as the Old Poppy, it's got to be an applewood smoked cocktail. It's done in the same vein as an Old Fashioned, so it's a very spirit for a cocktail served a nice little rocks class. Awesome, dude. So dude, can you tell me anything about this room? I mean, I heard that Bugsy Siegel used to be associated down here. Oh, no one's associated with that guy. A general idea is everybody, like I said, they drop off their wares one thing that needs to get cleaned or another. Right, right, right. So whether it be clothes or other things that might need to get cleaned. Yeah, a sheet or two. And a she yeah, a sheet or two. Or... Gosh. I feel so cool being in this room. I mean, that's... That's so, I think one of the cool things that you guys have going on in the laundry room is the fact that you really feel special here. I feel like no one knows where I am. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, you do kind of get locked away in here. Again, the idea is there's no cell phones allowed in here. I mean, you're not calling, texting, or you can text, but you cannot call anybody. You're not sitting here trying to take videos of anything. Right, right. Yeah, I saw, I was reading some of the house rules here. You can't take photos. You got to be patient when the guy's making the drink for you. Uh, there's no standing at the bar. That's why I'm sitting like a gentleman, like a did gentleman. Uh, don't be creepy. That's a great rule. That should be more uh, established in, in every in every business, but it, uh, I like that you guys really make a point that uh, if you came here to hit on strangers, you're at the wrong bar. That's a good, that's a good point. Whoa, now you're smoking stuff, dude. Oh uh, yeah, look at I thought you were joking when you said No, nah, I'm gonna burn smoke. something. It keeps me entertained, I don't know about you. Well, dude, I'll tell you what. There's only one way to get a smoky drink, and that's it. Are you smoking my glass? Yeah. That way I'm gonna be able to have all the esters and so on that kind of sit on the glass, and by the way, it does look nice too. I don't mind it. All right, in. Whoa, that was cool. Well, man, I mean, if it's cool, I mean, I can I can I try it? I would say go get it. Oh, I feel like a real the gentleman. <laughs> this is amazing, dude. This is amazing. Awesome. This is. I mean, granted, I'm getting smoke still in my face from what was just smoked, but I get the smokiness in the glass, the drink itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's working on all different levels over here. Yeah, it should have a nice little light dry smoke to it, so even if I move this, it'll still kind of show for you. Right, well. right. I gotta tell you, man, this is a sipping drink, is it not? Yes, there, we're not here to shoot shots back here. I mean, everything back here is intended to be enjoyed over a good a duration more than anything else. Just like the preparation when it comes to it. I didn't pour a Jack and Coke that was like that. It was a little bit more time and effort. Oh, there was a lot more time and effort in this drink. Well, I think the only thing for me to do is to sit back, enjoy this drink, and think about the old times when things were a lot more complex. <laughs> <laughs>